Hey guys, it's Mel here with Tech From Another Perspective and today I'm going to be unboxing the Asus X75VC laptop and I would like to thank Asus UK for sending this out. It wouldn't be possible without them. They do graphics cards and motherboards and laptops and tablets and phones and many other good stuff that you want to just check out. Really premium brand and let's get into the video. So instantly you can see that here is the uh, box. Uh, because it is a uh, PR sample, it's already been opened by other people. However, I haven't opened it myself, uh, so I'm just going to do that. There's nothing much to see on the box itself, just says Asus and uh, Notebook PC, but uh, most of the box is covered anyway by paper, as you can see here. So let's just quickly open this. So take this uh, tab and pull these tabs, um, then pull this up. Here we go. Instantly, you can see that there are stuff here. Uh, there's a box in the middle, which underneath will have the laptop, obviously. Here is the power supply, so it's quite a brick compared to um, other laptops. Because other laptops do have a brick like this, but it isn't as uh, heavy as this. However, this is quite a powerful laptop, so it's kind of expected. Although... It's not like MacBook uh, brick, but I shouldn't be expecting that. Um, here you have the adapter for the power brick or PSU. Stop calling it power brick. And if I lift this up, here you go. There is a uh, some booklets. So here is what is a um, battery notice. If you want to check that out. Uh, put this here. Here is a inspiring innovation, uh, persistent perfection manual. So I don't actually need a manual because I know what I'm doing with this laptop, anyways. But if you ever do buy this and you want to check the manual out, then you can uh, put this to here. Uh, here's a booklet on the inside, which is actually attached. No, it isn't. Here we go. Uh, here is a warranty card, so it does come with a warranty, which is good. However, this is a PR sample, so I have to send this back afterwards. Um, and here is another user guide for Windows 8. Now, some people don't like Windows 8, however, this laptop comes with Windows 8, so you have to get used to it. And if I just take this out, because here is the actual laptop. This is a 17-inch laptop, which is quite whipping. And it features an i5 processor, I think it's a dual core, NVIDIA 720M graphics and 1TB hard drive with 8GB RAM, uh, that's good, but the bad thing is that it's a 3rd gen i5 rather than a 4th gen. Uh, let's just quickly take this out, this is actually huge and heavy, uh, pull this up. Holy mammoth. I've never used a 17 inch laptop before and here you can see this laptop, there's a scratch here because it was somewhere else, PR samples, problem with them and uh, yeah that is the laptop quite huge so we're just going to open the slid up, turn it the other way around. Resuming as I was interrupted, um, so he, we left off at the laptop so turn this around, we're going to look at the ports. Um, Right here is actually, there are no ports, uh, there is a Blu-ray drive which is quite good if you want to just put in a Blu-ray disc, then you can watch film, and I'm not sure whether that's the uh, updated Blu-ray or the standard Blu-ray, but here we turn to the other side, and you can see that there is the input for the uh, power bank, and PSU actually. And here is the fan, so underneath right here around this area there will be a fan and this is where the air will come out. It's got a special type of technology to keep uh, the laptop cool as it says on the website which I make a uh, link in the description below. Uh, VGA port, RJ45 port for Ethernet, 
uh, HDMI port if you want to output with HDMI instead of VGA two USB 2.0 ports and there is actually one USB 3.0 port and usually laptops share um, don't share a uh, microphone port and a uh, headphone port but this laptop actually makes it share it which is quite weird however that minimizes the amount of ports in this laptop you can see it's quite thick and big however it is a 17.3 inch laptop so it's what you expect now I'm going to just try and turn this on for the first time uh, pull this up actually I'll we'll show you this first so here you have the 17.3 inch screen and uh, right here you have the power button so I'm just going to press that turn it on and apparently it turns on in around 12 seconds so we'll just see this so instead of showing the Windows 8 logo it shows the Asus logo and it boots up and here we go I don't think this has been 12 seconds, however, it was, yes, it's still not uh, slow, and here we have the Windows 8 screen right here, so you just go into your desktop and we're welcomed by a nice Asus background, Asus have a factory reset this, so that's all good. And uh, so I'm just going to show you this uh, keyboard and then we'll conclude with the unboxing because I'm basically covering review material now. So let's quickly unwind this. So here you go, you have a standard kind of keyboard. There is actually a number pad here which some laptops have, some laptops don't. But it is 17.3 inch laptop so there's plenty of space for a number pad. Um, the touchpad is actually not centralized like some laptops it's actually to the left side here's your palm rest I don't like it when it's not centralized however that is how Asus designed it and uh, this is plastic not aluminium or anything nothing special which is a shame but that's how things are uh, if you did enjoy this unboxing video make sure to leave a comment on the video Subscribe and like the video. I would like to thank Asus UK once again for sending this laptop out. Wouldn't be possible without them. This has been Hell here with Tech from the Perspective unboxing the Asus X75VC laptop. And I'm out. Peace.